Oh, yeah! What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to The Fringe. Let's end the weekend on a high note. Let's talk about something funny, because Jagmeet Singh has what I like to call a god complex, a superiority complex. This man knows no bounds with his hubris, as he has come out making some pretty bold claims in the last couple of days. And I really want to focus on that because as we go back into Parliament this week, it's going to get interesting again to see what kind of shenanigans we see in the House of Commons as we near closer to the summer break for politicians. But Jagmeet Singh essentially coming out this weekend, we've got the government.exe tweeting out, watch, Jagmeet Singh pretends to be the Prime Minister of Canada and threatens Pierre Polyev to cave to his demands or else. This is the same guy who is holding an entire country politically hostage because of power and greed. Of course, if you watched my last video on Jagmeet Singh that came out earlier this weekend, talking about his complete and utter derriere being handed to him by Vashi Kaplos over on Power Play on CTV, she of course asked Jagmeet Singh, why aren't you calling an election? You've called this prime minister failed multiple times, to which he couldn't give a reasonable answer. But he says, we we are the reason that health care is coming to Canada. We are the reason that birth control is going to be free. We did that, ladies and gentlemen. We made that happen. We forced the liberals to do this. They wouldn't have done it otherwise. This man seems to think that he's the be-all, end-all. And I hate to break it to anybody, but if you have a job that gives any kind of benefits when it comes to your medication... Uh, Medication's pretty much, for the best part, affordable as it is. Now, there are those who do get diabetic medications or others that are seniors that maybe don't have any kind of coverage when it comes to health care uh, benefits. But this is, for the most part, Canadians can afford. And I think people can't really argue that statistically medication, for the most part, is affordable. So much like dental care, much like what Jagmeet Singh pushes for, it's really for a very select crowd. And I'm not saying that those crowds don't deserve some form of help. But if we didn't have carbon taxes, if we didn't have massively inflated products at stores, massively inflated medications, people might be able to take care of themselves without the need for jug meat saying to bolster these things. Let's take a look at what he yells out here. 48 hours. Pierre, I'm giving you 48 hours to decide. Because women have worked way too hard to see their rights rolled back. So you have two days to decide whether you're gonna stop blocking our attempt to bring in free birth control for women or new Democrats will force through that legislation whether you want it or not. Either way, new Democrats will show you, you can't mess with women's rights in Canada. Jeez, Jeez. The, 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 the cojones on this man. I, I don't know what to say. This is absolutely crazy. I, I, I'm speechless. This guy thinks he can hold Pierre Polyev hostage, like like he's giving a uh, one of those uh, ultimatums when it comes to like a hostage situation. You've got 48 hours, and I will find you. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be interesting to hear Pierre's response. I guarantee you he's going to have a witty response when it comes to a uh, question period this week. I'm willing to bet he'll make a statement somewhere at least. But Jagmeet Singh, of course, has come out now to say he's going to win the next federal election. This is coming from True North, guys. It isn't The Onion. It isn't Beaverton. It's, this is legit that Jagmeet Singh sat in Carlton, which is actually Pierre Polyev's riding and said he's going to win the next federal election. Now, unless, of course, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very, very corrupt election system where people in droves are voting for the NDP, <laughs> we're going to get into that. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But NDP leader Jagmeet Singh said in a speech Tuesday he would not form another coalition with the Liberals after the next election because he will win that election and become... I can't even say it. He's going to become prime minister. <laughs> Singh made the remark at Carleton University Bell Lecture. First, we see this tweet saying, Jagmeet Singh is speaking at Carleton tonight. The event began in a Faculty of Public Affairs dean doing a land acknowledgement where she claimed Canadians are occupiers. There we go. It explains why Jagmeet Singh is there. Called on people to dismantle colonial mindset and boasted about, yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's, it's a crime. 
It's a crime to live in Canada if you're white. During the Q&A portion of his speech, Singh was asked if he would form another coalition with the Liberals, to which he answered, I would say no right away because we're going to win the next election. I defy the odds. Uh, you defy sanity, Jugmeet Singh. You don't, you don't defy the odds. You're defying the, the basis of all sane thoughts. I defy the odds. We're going to win because people need us to win. I genuinely mean it, he added. So he's not just bolstering for the point of his party to prop them up. He says he genuinely means it. This man believes he's going to be the next prime minister of Canada. I really want people to know I want to be the next prime minister of this country. I want to be the first labor prime minister, the first NDP prime minister, said Singh. Of course, there is a clip of that. The audio is very quiet, so I'm not going to play it. Because uh, you, you won't be able to hear it anyways. But he says he went on to boast about NDP accomplishments, which are zero, including ones that are supposedly claimed by his party over the last two years. 25 MPs brought in pharmacare, diabetes coverage, diabetes devices coverage, birth control, brought in child care legislation, brought in dental care, brought in 10 paid sick leaves, anti-scab legislation, said Singh. Uh, no, you didn't. You didn't bring in anything. of. You didn't bring in any of that. It hasn't even been put forward yet. Like, it, it's... We're going to give it to you, but it's going to be massively retooled. <laughs> Which also we saw in the budget where Jugmeet Singh said, well, I'm a little disappointed in, in the government, but I'm still going to support the budget, ladies and gentlemen, and be the next prime minister of Canada. <laughs> he said it's because the coalition with Trudeau that they were never able to implement these policies, or that they were able to implement these policies. According to 338 Canada, Singh is averaging 18% in the polls, while Polyev conservatives are hitting at 42. If an election were held today, Singh's NDP would remain in fourth place with just 24 seats. Jagmeet Singh also discussed immigration in his speech, saying immigration levels should be set at a level where we can ensure that people are able to be supported and welcomed to the country. We have enough infrastructure and resources, and that our immigration levels must meet our needs. Um, so I almost... I hate to say this. I agree with the first part of his statement that uh, it needs to be set at a level where we can ensure people are able to be supported and welcomed in the country. We've taken on too many. We have no resources. We have nowhere for them to live. We have nowhere for our own people to live because they can't afford to live anywhere. We need to handle our problems first. But when he says uh, we have infrastructure <laughs> and to meet the no, 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 we don't. No, we don't, Jugme. Come on. Come on. Of course, you can see here. Uh, liberal support is diminishing. Let's take a look at this clip. I, I do think that that is somewhat of a disappointing result for Jagmeet Singh. And I, I think the problem here is just kind of public perception. I think, um, you know, the NDP is not really seen as an opposition party by, by most Canadians. They're seen as a dancing party, um, a dancing partner with the Liberals. And, 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 the, and they don't really get much credit for it, to, to be honest. They don't really see, just in the public right now, I don't think they're seen as holding the Liberals to account for some of their problems and, and failures, and they're, they're seen almost as enabling them. New Democrats say if the Liberals won't provide Canadians with pharmacare, they will trigger an election and make affordable drugs a ballot box issue. But Carl, do you think that Jagmeet Singh himself is wearing that perception? Uh, the question for New Democrats will be, if the Liberal is really, ship is really sinking, will the NDP both sink along with them or will they go and in another direction? That's the danger. And that's where selling this agreement uh, has been kind of uh, uh, problematic. They're not getting the credit for the policies that they are pushing the Liberal government on. Though there are signs of impatience with the agreement propping up the Liberals. The NDP make it conditional upon uh, withdrawing from the confidence supply agreement unless the Liberals move forward with this anti-scab legislation in the next three months. Oh, I mean, I've said for a yeah. while, I don't think this agreement is a good thing for the NDP. I don't think Jeremy Singh is going to get the credit on anything that comes out of this the way he thinks he does. And I think if voters have this kind of sentiment of change or, you know, kick the bums out, uh, the NDP is going to be in that narrative. There's no way you can create this notion of you being this kind of independent party or this agent of change when you are the party that's literally propping up the government possibly for the next two years. They are weaseling out. Now, we have been crystal clear. We have put on the record that nothing less than public pharmacare delivered through our single payer system will do for us. Nothing less. Right? You are so tied to them. I don't understand how you uh, un unwind yourself from that. I Delegates voted unanimously to end the agreement 
if those demands aren't met. So, it's on that point. Yeah, go quickly, then I'll get Brian. Yeah. The greatest way to create contrast and to distance yourself from the garment is to bring them down. This puts pressure on NDP leader Jagmeet Singh. Singh's support is the lowest for any NDP leader since Tom Mulcair was ousted at the convention in 2016. It's very difficult uh, for, for Mr. Singh to see those numbers going down, but part of it is the frustration of some of the membership base with the deal that he struck with Trudeau. I mean, you can pretty much sum it all up in there. Again, if we look at the, the current polls from Burnaby Central, the Conservatives are way ahead of Jagmeet Singh. Look at this. Odds of winning. Here, here's the current ridings. April 28th of 2024, 38%. Up 8% for the Conservatives in Burnaby Central. NDP, 34% and is up 8%. But in, in terms of the odds of winning, it's not looking good for Jagmeet Singh. We all know this. We all know that Jagmeet's not going to win any form of another election. And, and it's, it, it's so... Um, it's, it's so funny, the writing on the walls that's coming forward that he claims he's going to be, I, I, I'm trying to find the words to put together that he's going to, he's going to be the next prime minister of Canada. He's gone full wacko, ladies and gentlemen, speaking of wacko, make sure to head over to our shop. Where we got new F Wacko t-shirts as well as the Obama style Wacko uh, Justin Trudeau. We've got products, we've got t-shirts, we've got hoodies, we've got men's and women's, all sorts of stuff over at our shop. You can find the shop button just below the title of this video. I will put a link to the store in the description as well. But make sure to grab those. Today being Sunday is the last day that these items are on sale uh, but they are they're, they're they're staying in the store for now. But I've had several complaints against them from those who are butthurt that don't like when we make fun of Trudeau. So time is of the essence, ladies and gentlemen. They may get pulled eventually. Anytime I've done Trudeau style products, they always get pulled uh, because people complain. So grab them while they're hot. Grab them while you can. Head on over there again. The shop button just down below. I will have a link in the description as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if it's your first time here, I hope this video has earned your subscription. Make sure as you're hitting that button, turn on your bell for notifications. Join us live here on the channel every Friday for Friday Night Fringe here at 6 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Central, where we go over <laughs> topics like this and have some fun in the chat with our community. And I always look forward to hearing what you guys have to say outside of making these videos. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend and enjoy your day. I'll catch you on the next one.